just watched this sweet sci-fi movie or one of us read a book about physics or you know a post-apocalyptic era in space or whatnot and how do you convey that in the music yeah. it's essentially like writing a soundtrack for a sci-fi movie and I think that was the most interesting part in making the music especially some of the newer songs that we've written as all three of us is like okay we have a song called The Information Paradox based on Stephen Hawking. Yeah, the, the, the last song of our, our actual set, um, with the voiceover, you know, like, Remy was like, man, I love physics, and we were talking about Stephen Hawking's one day, and we're like, man, well, why don't we just use a voiceover? And, you know, we wrote this whole part, and then put the voiceover to it, and then one day in practice, when we do the second voiceover in that song, it's just accent, and get the pedal, and I was like, this fits perfectly for the part, and then he just, like, goes into it just right for like, the transition. It is. You know, like, we want to do more voiceovers, we want to eventually maybe do some more vocals, but, you know, we're not trying to force anything.
the discussion we were having about uh, image people, it's like, yeah, we're very specific about like how we handle our music and like, how we go about it, and, like, this whole like, space rock thing, but not having vocals and going against the grain doesn't negate the fact that being in a band is still being in a band. We work for the fact that like, we try to put on a show all the way, and just because you don't have vocals doesn't mean that you can't do that. You know? like, in fact, I feel like we're going back to the roots of what music is supposed to be, not just the catchy hook, but just movements, and, like, dynamics, and like, how it makes you feel. You know? Why you like